Hi, this is Stephanie with a suggestion for you. I wonder if you can come into a nice, comfortable position. A position that allows you to just snuggle right in. A position that allows you to relax fully. <clears throat> a position that allows you to relax fully. Just letting yourself sink in to the support beneath your body and bringing your awareness to your breathing and just notice the rhythm of your breath without feeling the need to do or change anything. Just following the path of breath in and out. Noticing the parts of your body that expand and contract with each breath in and out. And you can allow yourself to relax even more, allowing yourself to feel safe and grounded, knowing that you are in control of your entire experience, and trusting that your subconscious will know the perfect level of relaxation for you to do the work you'd like to do today. And so you can sit back and relax and enjoy. knowing that you deserve this time for you. This time to completely and fully relax. And so you can allow for your head to relax and all the tiny muscles in your face can soften and relax. And you can allow for the neck and the shoulders to relax. Giving permission for the arms and the hands and fingers to relax. And then allowing for your upper body to completely relax now. Relaxing your hips and buttocks. Relaxing your legs and your feet and your toes. Sinking down deeper. Allowing your limbs to grow heavy with relaxation, sinking deeper and deeper into the support beneath your body, relaxing deeper and deeper still. And I wonder if you can imagine yourself in a place where you feel most safe and secure. Maybe this is a place that you've been to before. 
Maybe it's where you are right now in this moment. Or maybe it's a place in your imagination. You can just allow yourself to be there in that space that feels most safe and secure. Noticing your surroundings, being aware of the energy around you, and being aware of how that energy feels inside. That feeling of safeness, that feeling of safety, that feeling of security. Noticing how that feels in your body and in your spirit. Knowing that in this safe space, you can allow yourself to relax and enjoy. And in this safe space, I wonder if you can imagine that you are writing a story about your life, not the past life that you've lived, but of the life that you're living right now in this moment. And I wonder if you can write all of the things about yourself that you love. Things that make you proud to be you. Maybe they're little things and maybe they're bigger things. But I wonder if you can imagine that you're writing your story maybe in pen to paper or typing on a keyboard, watching the words flow as you express all of the things that you are very, very proud of all of the things that you love about yourself, all of the things that you like about yourself. I wonder if you could tell that. To your future self. As a reminder of all of the things that make you perfect and unique. And I wonder if you could take the time to write a story of how you would like I wonder if you could tell a story about yourself that takes place in the future. Imagining any little changes you'd like to make along the way to evolve and change to become even more authentically you. 
Maybe you picture yourself in your mind as inspiration for the story that you are writing. Picturing all of the ways that you will change and evolve and grow and become. And with each little change and each evolution, you learn and you grow. You learn to listen to yourself and to honor who you really are as the unique individual that is you. And I wonder as you evolve and change and become more authentically you, how that would feel and what that would look like. And maybe there's a part of you that knows that you're already perfect in your imperfections and deserving of love in this moment. Knowing that as humans we are constantly changing and evolving And our love for ourselves can grow and change with each step along the path of life. And when you're fully in love with who you are, criticism and expectations from others no longer hold the same power. And as you step into the fullest expression of your gender identity, you'll do so without fear or concern for outside criticism. Knowing that you are living your most authentic and true self. And that's all that matters. And you deserve all the space to express yourself in a way that feels just right for you. And as you continue to evolve and change, you also can develop shields to protect you from ignorance and from criticism. Those shields are shields of love built entirely of self-love energy. And when we love ourselves so much And when we honor who we are truly, 
deep, deep down inside of ourselves. That love shields us from negativity. No longer needing validation from the outside world, we can be who we are, we can be who we want to become, we can be. And we can love every part of ourself through each change and evolution. And in each moment of each day, learning to love ourself more and more. And isn't it nice to know that we define who we are? And that as we step out into the world, shielded in self-love and showing our authentic, true self, That's when we're most radiant and most beautiful. And so as you feel ready, you can slowly begin to make your way back, bringing feelings of self-love and acceptance with you, bringing your shield of self-love into your everyday life, knowing that the more we love ourselves, the more radiant we become. And slowly making your way back, you might begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, just bringing soft, gentle movement into your body. And then finding your way back to your room, to the space. And when it feels ready, and only when it feels ready, you can allow for your eyes to open.